Let's face it, you don't have time to open the door for everyone. You can't actually. Which is precisely why you have August. Uh, I don't think 2016 is going to be the year of the connected home. It's just, the stuff is just too difficult to set up for the benefits that it gives you. I'm always a little bit skeptical about the connected home. In so much as I think it's, I think it's good. I think having a fridge that can tell you that your milk's going out of date is great and you should buy new stuff. But I think while people have to chase it, I don't think it's going to happen. 60% of almost all new products fail. And part of the big reason is that a lot of manufacturers have overtly optimistic predictions of how quickly things would be adopted. Uh, the technological change does not come easy. And one of the big reasons for that is that it is not easy to change existing behaviors. It's also too difficult to set up. Um, it's, it's not such intuitive a pain in the enough. To set up. It's such a pain in the ass. I've like used all of these things, and it's just it's why I've got no hair, basically. If I have to go out and buy an individual gadget to set up all of these things, I think that's just going to be a barrier for people. I think the connected home will come into its own with new builds in the future. It's not so much they're not interested, I just think the story's easier to tell when you see something that's in your face, I really want that, I know what it does, I think it looks great, I want that in my home. That's a much easier sell than saying, look, this is a little bit more complex, there's going to be a setup to this, there's a, there's a, you know, there's a support structure around that that becomes slightly more complex. But actually, as that grows, I think it will become vital to everyone's home in the, in the future. I think in terms of the adoption of these new technologies, it's, there's going to be a, a big age uh, influence. I think younger people are going to take to it much more readily because they're much more used to very rapid change in their lives. Uh, older people, some older people at least, may find it harder to adapt to. What you tend to find, as you well know, is, is early innovators. These are people who will adapt, adopt things just when they first come out and they will enthuse and then they will kind of spread back through, through, through the, the waves. I think with technology, a big part of technology is how it looks and how it feels, and I think you don't really get that in the, in the, in the connective home genre. So I think we've been, people have been struggling to tell that in a marketing sense, but actually what you're now beginning to see is controlling your music, controlling your heat, security I think is a major part of that which is coming to the fore now, and I think as that develops and as people are reading about it more and more, we'll start to see that growing. It really can sort of make a difference even if it's just in awareness of how you could you know, save a bit of money here and there. So while well, I think you're right that it is still you know, quite a sort of techie kind of geek area, I think you know, people should probably be taking a, a closer look at it. And because it is, you know, in a lot of cases, it is simpler than you might think to sort of add a bit of intelligence to your humble abode.